Hello and welcome. I'm Christoph Salge and this is the 2024 winner announcement for the AI Settlement Generation Competition in Minecraft. Enjoy! The task of the GDMC competition is to build an algorithm or an AI that can generate an interesting or good Minecraft settlement that fits into an unseen map without human supervision. And you should be at least be as good as a human. If you want to know more or download the framework or see any of the past um, contributions, you should check out our wiki where a lot of this is documented in a lot more detail. So how does this work? Well, basically, you write an algorithm, you send it to us, it then gets applied to uh, different locations on a competition map, and these um, generated settlements are then sent out to a variety of judges. This year, 11 judges submitted scores, and they do score the entries on four criterion. Adaptivity, as in how much does it fit into the existing landscape, how much does it adapt to what is already there, and uh, takes impulses from that. Functionality is both about providing affordances to fictional villagers, but also to a player. And then there's evocative narrative. Settlements do tell a story about how they came about, about the people that live there. And the question is, does your settlement provide this environmental storytelling? And then finally, there's aesthetics, which isn't just about looking good. It's also about avoiding all of these mistakes that are very intuitively to avoid for human building something, but hard for an AI. This is the seventh year we're running this competition, and this year we had five team submissions that were evaluated by 11 judges. And let's jump right into the results. On third place is a repeat contender, uh, Panda World. So this year the pandas are traveling on an airship to a barren land so inhospitable that they decided to go underground. So they dug down a massive shaft, uh, kind of like a space elevator, and excavated this underground landscape with stars in the skies and temples and obviously lots of pandas. And you might be wondering, how do I know all of this? Well, inside that space, there's also a museum uh, outlining the history of Panda World, um, <laughs> referencing back previous entries, and giving a good overview with many, many, many books of why the pandas are there, what they're doing, and so on and so on. So this is the overall uh, place three. Um, but it is also the winner of uh, this year's uh, Chronicle Challenge. So congrats to uh, Panda World. Entry number two is also a repeat entry, the Shadow Money Wizard Gang. Um, they've built a very atmospheric settlement with lots of tiny huts spread out over a large area and city walls also making a comeback here. Um, there's lots of interesting details to check out, so um, have a look. Congrats, Shadow Wizard Money Gang. And number one, is actually um, really impressive this year and a very cool technical achievement. So when we initially set out, one of the things we wanted to do was kind of recapture this um, feeling of watching a time lapse of humans getting together, jointly building something and, um, you know, obtaining resources from the natural world. And um, this year's number one entry manages to um, use the Minecraft data packs to actually generate a replay. So when you're logging into the map, you will see visitors, um, villagers like you see here on screen, running around immediately, uh, searching for resources, building quarries, chopping down trees, carrying these to some kind of forestry huts, and then assembling buildings from the actual resources that were gathered in the world. And so you can basically watch as the settlement gets put together, as uh, buildings are getting constructed, pathways are being laid down, resources are getting transported in the environment, which creates this very, very um, kind of tight narrative of people settling a land. And um, that was very convincing to our judges. So um, um, they picked this one as a winner. And without further ado, congrats to specific protagonist for his number one entry in the 2024 um, competition. Um, we do have one other special prize besides the Chronicle Challenge, which is the um, best underground structure. And uh, this one goes to um, Niels NTG, who built a settlement called um, something like the Library of Mathematics. This is um, takes a bit of inspiration from data games. Uh, it's based on 
the Mathematics Archive Papers, an online repository for scientific sources, and it gives some kind of spatial expression to all of these uh, papers and actually generates books with all their titles and links to these papers and creating this massive underground library where people can explore and look at all the mathematics knowledge that has been uh, put online uh, by people in the last uh, decade or two. And um, that um, was awarded Best Underground Structure. So here's an overview table of the various entries. And as usual, if you're interested in seeing any of these entries, you can go to our um, website and um, download um, the maps. You can um, download the generators. All entries this year were made via GitHub. So you should be able to um, both download the code, look at the con um, um, the documentation, but uh, you can also, as I said, um, download maps, apply the generators yourself. And if you're interested in this competition, we will be running this again next year, so you can participate or you know put together a team, convince others. Um, feel free to talk about this and spread the word. Um, we're looking forward to another exciting competition. This year's field has been very, very strong, so congratulations to all those participating. But I think there's still lots of room to grow, and I do hope I see you all back for uh, next year's uh, GDMC challenge. Thank you very much.